Greetings, Bill here. Um, today I'm going to do a shave and just show off some stuff uh, that I made uh, uh, in the arena of um, convex straps. Okay. Uh, I've been honing, if any of you have seen some of my other videos, you know I am a big advocate of the use of convex hones. Uh, and it was uh, something that was brought to the common man by the ability of a shaping plate uh, for, for your stones. I've used that same shaping plate here on this. Okay, I've had, this is balsa wood. I've had smaller, I still have them, smaller pieces of balsa wood that I, after I hone, I go to a stropping progression. And I end up with the uh, abrasive that charged on this, that is charged on that one. Uh, this is a one-tenth micron uh, CBN emulsion. Uh, and I really like that. And what I wanted was I wanted a big one uh, to have in the shave zone uh, where I could do a uh, um, more frequent refresh. I've used uh, that on uh, paddle type strops, but I wanted to, since I have, uh, this has been shaped in, you can kind of see it a little bit. It's a, a larger radius here. I think the radius would calculate to a 12 and a half foot radius or a 25 foot sphere. Okay. And then, and then across this way, uh, there would be like a three foot, uh, radius or a six foot sphere. Uh, so I took the tool I'm going to use today and I went ahead and I touched it up on, on this. And then secondly, uh, I had seen the idea elsewhere uh, where, where somebody, uh, actually there's a couple of guys that have done it, that have made uh, convex, str convex straps. The theory for me is my understanding being is that with a curved type surface, you are less likely to be putting the type of pressure directly on the edge that can roll that up and actually convex the edge. If you're if you are of the mindset that by using a uh, convex surface to hone on and that you are creating a uh, uh, hollow bevel, you you kind of want to maintain that. OK, so this is this was done on that same shaping plate, except in the uh, three foot radius or six foot circle direction and this is an inexpensive uh herald strop uh a calf hide it's a very nice leather um uh, i i kind of like it and i've mounted it with a like a double stick kind of tape on there and eventually if i like the way this kind of works and shapes out i'll eventually trim uh, trim this up a little bit better um but uh Anyhow, uh, uh, there, there are many of you that have known me as, or seen me as Edison Carter uh, on, on the Shave Den, and uh, Edison Carter has been assassinated. <laughs> the opponents of this kind of stuff have successfully uh, seen to his ejection uh, from that particular uh, form of conversation, which uh, is not a problem to me. I felt that um, there was a decline in interest over there anyhow, but there are some people there that really don't like me. Okay. And that's okay. And uh, that is a privately held forum and they can do as they please with that particular outlet. So uh, to my friends that uh, remain over there, I do honestly wish you well and continue in your uh, the joy of this hobby you have. Uh, and uh, I, Bill, have made some new friends uh, under the screen name Bill M uh, at uh, the Shave Cadre. Okay. And um, I may be sharing uh, with them some of uh, some videos about my stuff and what I do. Okay. Uh, the shave today is going to be, um, I'm using 
a brush. It's a synthetic brush. I don't make a big thing about brushes. It's nice. It's tall, tall, dark, uh, West Coast shaving. Uh, and a soap that really I think is just the best soap for slickness and it's made with mutton tallow. I really like this, except this has, <laughs> this stuff that's, it, that's supposed to be unscented. It means there's no scent added, but there is, uh, there is a stank to it. <laughs> uh, it doesn't bother me because after you wash it off, it's kind of gone away. Uh, uh, so I've done my, uh, my normal prep routine ahead of time. I'll be lathering up with, with, with the lather that I pre-made up in, uh, uh, really a bowl that I like. It's, uh, 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 that one came from Sterling. I'm told that you can get these, that they're dog feed bowls that have these little paddles in there. Like the, I consider them paddles to help whip up the lather. They keep Fido from uh, enjoying his food too quickly. Okay. And then I will be using what is really, really my favorite razor. Okay. This is, uh, I don't know how to pronounce that, Mon Frey Destier. Uh, if I if I don't know French, but <laughs> it means my proud steed. Uh, this is made by Razor Saber in France. This was uh, there's not a lot of these particular ones uh, around. Uh, the way the story goes is that uh, this was for, forged. Uh, the blank for this razor was forged. I don't know, maybe 50 years ago, certainly decades ago, uh, in Thiers, France, okay, by one of the forgers there that uh, at that time used a forging method, and I'm not a metallurgist, so I don't know for sure, but used a forging method where, where to pound this into shape, it was heated and pounded numerous times, maybe reheated, and there were uh, there was a lot of working of this steel to get this to get this blank into shape. Uh, uh, modern day forging is different, as I understand, where they do it with a much higher pressure and and do a single drop strike into a die or or you know maybe two. I've actually seen videos where Henkel's. Uh, their forged knife series, the four star, uh, actually comes from strip steel where they die cut it. Okay. And the forging on that knife is actually only heated and only done on the bolster because they're believing that the manu original manufacturer of the steel has gotten so good. That's in the area of knives. But, uh, I, I think the idea, uh, here is that uh, and I'm sure there's a lot of people that have vintage razors that were forged in that method. And uh, I've heard people say that they shave much better. That may be the case. This is a modern made razor from an old forging of that method. I don't know that you can get uh, anything forged in that ancient time frame or that ancient way. I bought another one of these hoping that the forging was from that era era. Uh, it's not. It was forged in a different time. Uh, there's subtle differences in in the shape. It's similar, very, very similar to this in the uh, in the shape of it and the grinding. Uh, the gentleman in France who grinds these really, really is known for his ability to really, really grind, grind that really, really thin. Okay, I do like it. It holds an edge. Uh, he sell, he distributes it, sells these things to distributors with the insistence that this be sold as is and not rehoned. I have never honed this. I have, um, I have touched it up on uh, pasted strops today. I used this one, the tenth micron CBN, and my new project, which, which. Uh, is the uh, kind of curved uh, leather mounted strop. Uh, just to kind of see, it's an experimental thing at this point for me to see how it is, but uh, this is what I'm gonna shave. This is, I 
this has probably been the standard of bearer for my best shaver ever. I really, really like this. It's it's something I'm just really, really proud to have. So uh, we'll try to make this quick and not too long. Uh, to those of you that may tune in uh, from the Shave Cadre, welcome to the Shave Zone. <laughs> and thanks for tuning in. I try not to, I'll try and hurry this along without slashing my throat, slitting, showing the blood. So let's, I haven't shaved this since I've had it on that stuff right there, uh, but it did seem to be pretty, uh, pretty good to me. And I'm finding that, so far, quite efficient, quite smooth. I think it's the same angle I've used on my phone. From before. I'm watching in the mirror, so I don't know 100% for sure. Uh, that uh, I've got the angle total, the angle of the camera totally on, but we'll see. Uh, for those never seen one of my videos, my I'm following my normal shave pattern that I developed. I use it pretty much the same thing for most of the tools that I use. I do believe I've seen uh, Jeffrey Smith over at the Shave Cadre. Uh, Jeff's been a great inspiration for me on a lot of things. He is probably my favorite. Uh, He's got a lot of good ones, but he's probably my favorite YouTube wet shaver. Has been for a long time. And I do something that I uh, uh, kind of coined the term for the Jeffrey Smith wash. If you ever watch Jeffrey Smith, you, you'll see that he'll be putting water on his face and he'll be feeling. Uh, uh, I find the addition of water uh, helps a lot. Uh, and you can feel as you do that, you can uh, feel uh, where you need to focus on uh, you, your work on, on your next pass. 
So, Jeffrey, if you catch this up, let's be there for you, my friend. Man, the sheep do stink. <laughs> but I have a remedy. I have a remedy. I would have to say the restorative effects of uh, that maintenance hardware I'm liking so far. I've not actually honed this piece. But uh, sometime back in using it, I noticed it was not uh, what I believe it to be once was. I did hone the second one. The second one never had the edge that this one did. I did hone that one, and that one uh, got to the point where it outperformed this one. And this one was supposed to be uh, top dog. Uh, this may have brought this one back, uh, but I do like it. be brief I would usually spend a little bit more time for what I call the half pass down underneath here to to try and clean things up a little bit I'm gonna make this as brief as I can I'm hitting hitting the time zone where I like to limit things don't always <laughs> So, I'm pretty happy with that. I, uh, I might come back and work this one just a little bit more, but I'm gonna do that off the of camera. Uh, I did say I had something to counteract the sheep. Uh, that concoction is the world's most glorious stank <laughs> from a good friend, uh, 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 named Danny Hembry, uh, gifted this to me. Uh, I love this stuff. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure why he would give this away unless he has like a whole garage full of them. Or there was one guy that I recall somewhere, uh, actually making the statement. He was a big brute guy <laughs> and he used all this brute stuff. And he says, his mom hated it. <laughs> he says, I think it was a hatred for Joe Namath. <laughs> <laughs> so I always think about that when I think about brood. But uh, it is a holiday weekend. That's what I'm going to do on the splash one uh, uh, for the for the aftershave thing. So, gang, those of you that are new, thanks for turning tuning in. Uh, this is Bill again, and uh, you would find me at my new hangout at uh, the Shave Cadre, and to the owners there and to the people who are there who have been most welcoming to me, I thank you.